today's video, we're going to do some furniture shopping. We are moving, but we're moving right next door to the unit that we're in right now. It's gonna be a smaller unit, but the one that we're living in right now came furnished and we moved into it right from the motorhome. So it was, it was brilliant because we didn't have any furniture because we were living in a motorhome. So we moved into a fully furnished place, but now we're gonna be moving into a new place and this place is not gonna be furnished. So I'm actually quite excited to go look at furniture and like make it our own and be comfy and cozy and not like with other people's stuff. So we started this morning by going to the Lighthouse Cafe. It's right up the street from where we live. They have the best bacon wrap dates. And that is the reason we went there. And then we forgot to order the dates this morning. So we just didn't have enough coffee. Our Keurig broke. And normally we wake up, we have coffee, and then we'll, you know, go about our day. That's, it's been thrown off yesterday and today because our Keurig broke. So, and it doesn't come until, I should have just gone to Target and bought another Keurig, but I ordered it on Amazon, so it doesn't come until tomorrow. So, we went to the Lighthouse Cafe, we had breakfast, and uh, now we're at 6.02. And we're gonna head towards Lazy Boy, and then we're going to Living Space, Living La Spaces. Lazy Boy. Yeah, no, but then we're going to Living Spaces. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Jason, a friend of ours, he has these couches that he got like two years ago and they're recliner couches, but they look like normal couches. So it's like the recliner part like tucks up underneath. And so when you uh, recline it out, then it, it spreads out. Anyways, it's nice. It looks nice. They're like a gray color and he got them at Living Spaces, but I looked online and I couldn't find them at all. And so I'm thinking because it was two years ago, maybe they have like a new version, something like that. But they gotta still have these type where they don't look like the typical like fluffy recliner couches. If I have to end up getting those, then I will, but ideally I would like to get the ones that Jason has. And uh, so that's what we're on the, the lookout for today. We might take a look at some of the other furniture too. We don't really have a huge space for like a kitchen table, but I'm wondering if they have um, some like some tables for like small spaces. And so we'll, we'll kind of take a look at that and see if they have any um, solutions for that. Anyway, so come along with us. We're gonna go furniture shopping. That's so cool. It says tap truck. So Lazy Boy was a fail. They didn't have anything that was within the size that we needed that actually does um, a recline. And yeah, just, just an absolute fail, which sucks. But there are a ton of other like furniture places all within the same shopping center. So we're gonna go in and take a look and see if they have other things like end tables and lights and things like that and I'll actually film this time. Are they not open? And then I'll actually film inside because I forgot to do it. Like immediately when we got into Lazy Boy, we were like attacked by this salesperson. And so I'm not, so I didn't take out my phone because we were like trying oh, to like, sword. yeah. <laughs> Physically assaulted. Yeah, <laughs> trying to not be attacked. So anyway, so we're on to the next one. Sean's favorite place. Oh God, no. How excited are you to be in here? Uh, bamboo under the fingernails, somewhere in that boat. What if we get you a margarita? They don't serve margaritas here, you're lying. No, I mean afterwards. Yes, okay, okay. two of them. <laughs> Sean said this is all he needs. Rest is down right now. I like How this. do you like this? The arm, um, nice wide and I do like that it's square. Oh, so it's adjustable. It can go more or less for buying this couch. Babe, do you like the white? I do. 
Do I mean, you? You couldn't use it in that space because it clacked with all the white we have in there. I don't like it. Oh, this couch is nice. They had it in gray, maybe. There's way too many buttons. I'm not in love with this. I like the adjustability of it. Where other it. recliners, you don't get to adjust where your head goes. So if you want to sit up and read, if you want to lay back and take a nap, you get to adjust that. So the pitch of the recliner and the pitch of your upper shoulders, neck, and head area. It's like you need to fully recline in order for this head thing to really make sense. Like this is comfortable. And then if you wanted to sit up more to watch TV or like you're just sitting on the couch because you want to lay down, something like that is that I don't like it when there's like a huge gap, which a lot of the recliners do. Like when you go to sit on it, there's always like a huge gap like this. There's usually like a big hole and this doesn't do that. So I really, really like that about this one. And I like that it doesn't look like a recliner. Really when you sit, that's awesome. If it was plugged in. When you sit in it, is it like cozy? It doesn't do the butt gap. You want to be amazed. Oh, that's <laughs> sold. This one is huge. huge. So really deep, right? You look like a child in it. That's how huge this couch is. Yeah. This could be like a twin size mattress size. It goes forward, so you're not such a deep couch. Shut up. So I was just trying to tell Hold you. Hold up. Let me see. That's great. I've never seen that before on a couch in my life. How you far? You don't want a deep couch? No. Oh, you do want a deep couch. I got you. So we figured out what the top of this is. It's not one of those ones that folds back and forth. They're just basically showing you two versions. So you can get the couch like this, or you can get the added top part. This is, this is for tall people. Like, we wouldn't need this. Sean. You guys want it in this color as well? Yes. In this color? Okay. No worries. I want this exact thing. It, it definitely hits you in the right spot. You know what? You don't sink in. It like supports you in all the right places. Yeah. I do kind of wish it leaned forward a little more and not so much back. But yeah. You are right. It is quite comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> See, they're all lined. Yeah, that's nice, huh? Okay, living spaces was somewhat of a success. We did, in fact, find the one that we wanted but we found it in a chair and they don't have any of the love seat or sofa in stock so we put our email down and they're supposed to email us as soon as it comes back in stock they said maybe about a month which is fine like we can wait a month um what's weird is that they weren't like oh you can just order it and then when it comes back in stock it'll come to you no no, no. it was like give us your email We'll let you know and then you can buy it. So I don't know, that's not like really a guarantee. So we do have a second option that we put in there. Um, I'll give you guys a little clip of the one that we're thinking of. It was being shown as a sectional in there and we would want it as the sofa. The price difference on the um, our plan B is about like 1600 for the sofa and the one that we want is like 1350 which is an amazing price that beats any of the prices of the other uh, recliner sofas that we saw today so i'm really hoping that one comes in and that's the one we get that's the one i wanted to begin with that's the one i've had my eye on 
And yes, Jason, if you're watching this, we're gonna have the same couch if we get it. But uh, I know Sean was like, we're gonna copy him. And yes, because I like the couch. <laughs> uh so yeah so it was kind of a success we at least found the one that i want we'll see if it ends up coming in and if not then we have a plan b i am going to do a before and after also some like check-ins so you guys can see where where we're at in the process of actually moving i'm gonna probably do that video next i was planning on doing it today but we have painters in there today and it just you know i don't want to film in there while they're painting so probably next week. So if you liked this video and you want to see more of like what we're doing with our new place, I'm going to give you a full on tour of the new place. I'll show you what it was like before. And then I'll also give you updates of what we're doing as we're furnishing it. And then what I was thinking of was when we're finished and we're fully moved into the new place, also giving you kind of a tour an outro tour of our old place, because it's going to be going up for rent. Anyways, if you're interested in that, please subscribe and please give this video a like if you enjoyed this so you can uh, go shopping without having to go out and um, that's why I like these shopping videos so you can see what's out in the stores but not have to physically go out in the stores. So I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one.